Hello everybody, Ryan here from Cube Nerds, and we have a really big unboxing here today. Um, I'm actually really, really excited because I have, like, I think it was like, it's seven or eight cubes, and one of them I'm particularly very, very excited for, and I am just super excited for this unboxing. Um... It's gonna be pretty long. It's and it's just it's it's really exciting. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get into the unboxing. So before I start, I actually have this gear ball which I've already opened because I'm currently at my dad's and we just opened presents at my dad's house. And I opened the gear ball at my mom's house last night as a Christmas Eve present, so I decided to just open it. Um, and I already know how to solve it. It's pretty easy. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, that's the gear ball. Next up, we have the Killaminx, which is like a 2x2 two two Megaminx. This is the Shangshao Killaminx. So, it, um, I have not unboxed any of these cubes yet, so... Besides the gear ball, since that was a Christmas Eve present. If I can just get this open. And there we go, I got it open. But the camera fell. That's great. Alrighty. So, here it is. It's in this nice packaging. Um, it is very greasy on the outside, which is expected from Shangshao. Um, cause either way, this feels really cool. Actually, let's do first turns. Oh, wow, that is very smooth. Holy crap, that is really smooth. Oh, oh. this might be the smoothest puzzle I own now. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe that'll change that. So, but um. This is very good. Um, so this is just a 2x2 two two Megaminx, so it's essentially easier by quite a bit, because you don't have to worry about the edge pieces or anything. It's literally just the corners. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about this cube. Very nice. Um, anyway, let's move on. So next up, we have the Ivy Cube, the Chi Ivy Cube. Um... This is kind of, in a way, like a cube, except it just has two of the corners. So it comes with this pamphlet, which, let's be honest, no one really needs. Um, and here is the cube itself. Um, let's do some first turns. Um, so it's pretty smooth. Um, kind of feels sandy-ish. Um. I don't have much to say about this cube because it's just a fun cube to have. It's a fun cube to solve. Um, uh, I have solved one of these before. One of my friends a while back um, had one, and I played with it. So, um, and it's just basically a cube, but with two corners and one center. Um, so yeah, it's pretty neat. And moving on to the next cube. By the way, guys, I'm very sorry if I sound, like, depressed or dead or something. I'm pretty tired, but, um, anyway, this is the Shangshao 2x2 mirror blocks. I also have the 3x3 mirror blocks, but I decided to do these ones first. Pamphlet. Um, so, it's, I've really wanted mirror blocks for a long time, and I got a 2x2 and 3x3 bundle, um, which is pretty nice, so... Okay, so this is it. It feels very light. Let's do first turns. Ooh, that is really nice. This is better. This is even smoother than the Killaminx. Holy crap. And, oh, crap. Alright. Sorry about that. Ah, you s- Okay, sorry about that. My brother ran into my room and scared the living crap out of me. Anyway, um, next, so, well, actually, we were already in the middle of this. This is the 2x2 two two mirror blocks, and I must say, this is actually amazing. Like, it turns so well, and it's probably going to be very fun to solve. Um, so, really excited to scramble this and do some solves on it. It's going to be very fun. Anyway, let's move on to the 3x3 three three mirror blocks. Okay, so here's the 3x3 three three mirror blocks. Um, this is also Shangshao, obviously, because it was a bundle, so they're obviously going to be the same brand. Um, I'm sorry. 
Holy crap. Sorry, I'm really bad at doing this. Okay. So here's the 3 by 3 mirror blocks, if we can even get the box open. Okay, we ripped the box, that's nice. It's fine, though, because we I don't keep these anyway. There's a pamphlet. And the cube itself. Here we go. Alright, so here it is. Looks very nice. And, man, this is terrible. I'm really bad at recording. Okay. Here it is. Let's do some first turns. It feels very greasy. Just like the 2x2, two two, it is actually very smooth. It's... Sorry, I was holding too high there. But, um, this feels very similar to the 2x2. Two two. Um, it, it's very nice. And when I'm doing algorithms, it feels like I'm doing it wrong because it, like, shape shifts around. Very cool. Um, let's go ahead and do a checkerboard pattern, actually. Um... That looks very cool, actually. So, um, anyway, this is a very nice cube. I'm very excited to do some solves on this. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's like reflecting everything. That's why they call it mirror blocks, because of the stickers. They are very bright. Um, anyway, let's move on to the next cube. Okay, I did forget to include the mirror blocks. Um, each one of them actually came with these nice little stands that say Defantix on it, which is the brand that I got them from. Um, well, it's like the people that sold them, basically, and they have these little nice stands. So, um, I have these are very nice. And anyway, now let's move on to the next cube. So this one I am very excited for because it looks really fun to solve. This is the Chigi 2x2x3. Um... It does not shape shift, um, which is good because the only shape shifting one I have is the square one. And yeah, anyway, this turns pretty well. It feels pretty dry, um, but overall, it's very nice. Checkerboard pattern looks great, um, but it is pretty dry. It feels very nice though. It's nice that they have like a speed cube cuboid. Um, I actually do not know how to solve this currently. Um, I've heard it's very easy, so I do want to learn. Um, so yeah, this, I'm very excited about this. Um, and yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next cube. So this is the cube that I'm second most excited for. The one I'm most excited for is what I saved for last, which is coming up next. This is the Moyu Weipo 2x2. Two two. My 2x2 two, my two two is not very good, and I thought I should get a new one, and I just wanted a new one. So I decided to get this, and let's see if I can get it out from maybe the bottom. Anything, because it's closer. Oh, shoot. Okay. You guys, I'm very sorry. All right, um, so let's try and come on. This is very hard packaging, like. <laughs> Well, that just knocked over the stands. It didn't knock any over. Don't worry, that was not. I was not the sound of cubes breaking. It just knocked over the camera, and yeah, let's see if we can do that. Yeah. All right, let's just put the cube, the stands right there. Oh, would you look at that? Now it slid out. How convenient. All right, so this is the Moe Way Poet Two by Two. Um, I am very excited about this because I need a new Two by Two desperately. Especially because mine, I've had my 2x2 two two for a very long time. And I've just heard this one's very nice. So, let's go ahead and take it out. Shades look very nice, actually. So, let's do some first turns. This. Okay, so at first, it felt a little rough out of the box, except... Now that I'm turning each layer more, it feels very smooth. Yeah, it feels very smooth. Um, this will definitely be my main over my other one, which is just, like, really bad. Um, but yeah, once again, the shades are very nice, so it's pretty good. Um, it feels very nice to hold, and it is just, I, I really like it. 
I'm very glad to have this. I'm probably going to take this logo off just because I like cubes with logos better. I mean, without logos better. So, yeah. Um. But yeah, that is the Moe, that that is the Moe Waypo 2x2. Um. So, yeah, very nice cube, actually. It's just getting better every time I turn it. So, the very first turns, though, are a little rough. Tensions seem to be pretty nice. I'm not going to mess with them too much. But, uh, anyway, that is the Moe Waypo 2x2, and I am extremely excited for the next cube. So, this next cube comes with this nice bag, and just because of the bag, you can already tell I have a GAN cube. Um, this is my first GAN puzzle. Uh, this is a very nice bag, which I probably will carry my cube around in. And this box. If it'll focus in on that, I don't know if it will. Yeah, you can probably see that. GAN 356X. This cube is one of the nicest cubes on the market right now. It is $60. It's magnetic. You can change the magnets. It has, like, very intense customization. This is just gonna be an unboxing. I will probably do a review on this and just, like, how it works on this cube. So it just, like, that slides off like that. And then, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so exciting for me, guys. I don't think you understand. So here is this very, whoa, this is actually really nice. Holy crap. It's like a this little card. I can't read that because I don't speak that language. And then it has QR codes on the back for Instagram and other stuff. And it has a number here. I assume that's, like, the number of cubes. This is 209,951. So, first, let's pull out the GES nuts. Um, these are the GES nuts, and they are the new ones, so they have the little rectangle spots in them, so it makes adjusting tensions very easy. And then these are the magnets, which is very nice. I'm not going to go over any of this stuff. Um, I will go over that in another video. And then... Here's the huge GAN pamphlet, which I probably will actually keep to learn some F12 finger tricks, since I kind of suck at F12. And then, let's just take a look at this real quick. This little pamphlet, it, and uh, this one's much smaller. I think it just explains the numerical IPG and the magnets right here. Uh, we have the no magnets, weak, medium, and strong. And then with the springs over here... Um, yeah, very nice. So let's go ahead and actually get into the cube. It comes in this box right here. Um, so here we go. I got this in stickerless half brights, I think these are. That's what I requested from um, my parents when they ordered this. When I told them what I wanted, I, that's what I asked for. And so here is the packaging. I okay, that, that okay. There you go. I was confused on how to even get it out of the package for a second. So, oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited for this. So, as you can see, there's like the magnets there. If you if you can look, there's the magnets in there, and there's like the magnet capsules. Let's do first turns. This is probably the smoothest thing I've ever felt in my life. Holy. Okay, so let's see. I think the strong magnets might come pre-installed. This cube is pretty fast. Um, Honestly, probably not as fast as I really thought it was going to be. So, which is actually good because I thought it was going to be, like, way too fast. Except this is just great. As you can see, it looks like... That is the honeycomb design in there. You pr probably can't see that because my camera is trash. The shades actually look very nice, in my opinion. Um, I think these might be Fulbrights, which I am fine with. But either way, these this is just very nice. And let me just take the center cap off here. And as you can see, there's the rectangle. And you can, like, change the different... Um, you can change the tensions very easily. I think green comes pre-installed. Um if we look here because we have blue purple and yellow in that actual in that thing so i think there's green pre-installed and holy crap this is so good holy crap guys and i'm sorry i kind of suck i'm not the best um 
you should probably go watch like a review on this from someone much better but um i will be making a more in-depth video on this cube someday oh this is so nice dude and I wasn't actually expecting to get this for Christmas. And I did. Um, tensions seem fine, but once again, those are easily adjusted. Uh, yeah, adjusted. Um, so, let me just do this again. Oh, dude, I'm just... I am so excited about this, guys. I don't think you understand. And I dropped the cookie. I dropped it again. Um... But yeah, this is the Garen 356X. It's very nice cube, actually. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm doing to make this fall at this point. It's just falling on its own. So, at this point, you probably want to stop watching just because this is, like, so embarrassing. Let's just check corner cutting. Let's just do 45 right off the bat. It does that very easily. Whoa. Holy crap, hold on. Can I do this? Okay, it seems with my tension it can't do that, but let's just see how far does it go. It seems to go until this line of this piece goes into there, like matches up with that. Uh, let's check reverse. Ooh, hold on. Okay, so reverse is pretty good as well. Um, I am gonna mess around with the magnets and the tensions and everything, and I am just very excited about this, guys. I know I kind of suck, so this review, this unboxing probably wasn't even worth watching. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Merry Christmas! And anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.